God started the formation of the world with a word. In the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was light. God also said that as his children, if we got faith the size of a mustard seed, we can speak to mountains in our life and cause these mountains to move. Who can't sing about that? Amen. Amen. I sing about it all the time. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I want my robe Amen. and I want my crown. Amen. But most of all, I want my airline ticket. Amen. Amen. I can't have my robe and crown if I don't get my ticket to heaven first. Amen. 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 You know, we learned this morning in our Sunday school lesson. Satan folks got crowns too. Amen. Prince Beelzebub, you know you got a crown. The crown, I'm the prince. Prince of darkness. But we ain't wearing those kind. We ain't even working toward those kind. Before I get into my lesson, I want to talk with you all a, a little bit about our congregation grief that we've been going through, our community grief that we've been going through. Uh, I mentioned this morning in a Sunday school lesson that a, a, a classmate who who lost her, her brother. He was also a man of the cloth and the pastor. Then we have, I have another classmate who lost her older brother. His name was Stanley also. She just lost her sister less than a year ago. Death of siblings strike hard. Also, uh, I'd like for you all to keep them in prayer, the Hanks family and the Harris family. But also, um, for most of them, I want you to keep the Jamison family in your, in, your, in your prayer. Sister Lisa lost her sister. Brothers Lewis and Sister Clarita are gone up north to another family in the Jameson family. Also keep Sister Clarita in, her, in, your, in your prayer as when they went, went, to, went back to work on this past Monday, <clears throat> one of the instructors there at the school fell dead, massive heart attack, while he was there. Also keep one of my instructors, one of my welding instructors in, in mind, and I'm going to, the only reason I'm going to to mention, mention this, well, one of the reasons I want to mention this is because I want you to be aware of certain things. Uh, this was a 75-year-old ex-military retired person who was hauling for companies, you know, to different places, and he was hauling for some from a company in Mobile, Alabama, but he got there before the place opened, so he decided to pull up on Walmart's lot and rest there until the place opened. He fell asleep and three young men broke in there. I won't call them young men, I'm just being nice because I'm up here. Three guys broke in on him, kidnapped him, held him in a hotel room for three days. When he was finally found, he was dehydrated and a blood level of 300. Blood sugar. sugar level, thing. thank you, of 300. He died. And, um, this was just a good person. A good person doing a little something to make his end meet with his family. Say, be on the lookout when you're out, but even more so, take God with you every time you go out. Amen. We need him more than we want to give in to know. We do. We need him when things happen that's out of our control and death come visit us, but we also need him when we're out about, when we don't expect certain things to happen. A thing can happen just like that. <clears throat> and I want my families out there to know that we here at the Anderson Street Community Church, we're praying for you. I'm going to say a little bit more about this at the end of the lesson, but I want to say this up front too while I'm doing public announcements, public service announcements. Tuesday of this week, day after tomorrow, is voting time. Amen. Please go vote your conscience. Amen. Now I say this sometime when I'm when I'm kind of joking, but I, I don't really joke about anything. Don't talk to me about what's going on in your community, what's going on bad, what these folks are not doing, and what you can do better. You don't vote. Amen. Amen. Please don't do that to yourself. Because what you're going to hear coming out of my mouth ain't going to be what you want to hear coming out of my mouth. Amen. I don't like laziness. Amen. And if, there, if you got breath in your body, you can be doing something other than complain. Amen. Amen. So let's go out and let's vote. And let's be busy about our vote because seriously, people, the way you live is dependent on it. How you live is dependent on it. What you can buy is dependent on it. 
how you can buy it, where you can go buy it at, is depending on it. So be conscious about your vote. All right, that's my public service announcement. Our lesson today is entitled, Looking Beyond Myself. Amen, yeah. amen, amen. And our lesson is going to come from a lesson that Jesus gave himself about having plenty. I'm going to try to do this lesson the way I have it written here so we can get on through it. I see it according to the clock on the wall. And according to my watch, I have 22 minutes. 22 minutes, amen. amen. I'm going to try to get down here no more than 32 minutes. No more. I mean 22 minutes. I mean 22 minutes. Amen. Jesus said in Luke chapter 12, verse number 13 through 21, it's the parable of the rich fool. The rich fool. Why did Jesus call this man a fool? According to our reading, this man had all the signs of being a devout man. In the Old Testament, when a person owned property, and, 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 his, and his land produced abundantly, they looked at this person as a devout person. So why is it that Jesus called this man a fool? Let me see. Jesus said, you fool. This very night, your life is being demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures toward themselves, but are not rich toward God. Amen. Amen. Rich toward God. I tell people sometimes, they think I be joking. I tell them, and I think some of them, my, my, my daughter, the, the, the folks that she talks to, they think it's for real. I tell them, I'm rich. <laughs> they be like, what? That's I'm rich. You know, folks look at you real strange when you say you're rich. <laughs> Amen. They start looking at you, maternal thing, what you got. Mm -hmm. They look at me like, you, you dress all right, but you don't dress like you rich. <laughs> I know some of the richest people in the world that dress like farmers who don't Amen. chain clothes. Amen. Amen. You'll never know mm -hmm. they got some dollars. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So be careful how you paint people at being rich. But I tell people I'm rich. I tell them I'm rich in the Lord. They got a lot, a lot, a lot of things. Amen. Amen. They be like, oh, yeah, oh, that way, yeah, I'm rich too. No, evidently you didn't. You're not claiming it. <laughs> Amen. You looked at me crazy when I said I was rich, so you must not be rich in the Lord if you don't know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. Somebody don't say amen. 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 Why is this man called a fool? His land produced abundantly. Well, like, like I said, which in the Old Testament was a sign of him being a devout person. So what was the issue? The man says, what should I do? What will I do? I will pull down this bond, and I will make me a bigger bond. I will store my stuff, and I, 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 I. Hmm. Y'all get the message? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The lesson is entitled, Looking Beyond Yourself. To follow Jesus, we must go beyond ourselves. Really? Because to follow Jesus is not economically sound. Amen. That's true. It's really not. Amen. You hear me say all the time, you, if you're not out of anything, you really haven't served anybody. Amen. Amen. So how is that economically prosperous to you if you're always giving? Mm. Ha -ha, watch the preacher. Yeah. Watch them work. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. The Bible says we are to serve people. Mm -hmm. Giving people what they need when we see what their need is, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. And he said to do it how? Freely. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Why would somebody do that? That just sounds foolish to me. Every time I get something, I give it away. I ain't going to never have nothing. <laughs> if I'm thinking carnally, I got something, I give it away, it leaves what? Nothing. Nothing. That's why the Lord wants you to do it. So you'll know that even when you had something, you had nothing. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 Somebody ought to say amen. 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 Why, did you, why did Jesus even tell this parable? He says, be on your guard against all kinds of greed for one's life. Does not consist in the abundance of possession. Amen. 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 But you know people though, they uh, measure us yeah. by what we got. Stuff. Right. Stuff. And if you ain't got stuff, stuff. they don't want to have nothing to do with you. Mm. Lord, help that preacher. He's milling already. He's been up there five minutes. <laughs> You ain't nobody. You ain't that riding around here in that little pinto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, somebody. Mm. Amen. They want to put you in the pinto group. Mm. They got the big thing. You know, we Christians sometimes we'll get caught up. 
Mm. Now, don't get me wrong. Let me say this on the offset. When the Lord bless you, I want you to bam, folks, to let them know that the Lord is blessing you. Amen. 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 Bam them. Yes, sir. Bam. <laughs> don't be ashamed. You either go out there and get the biggest, baddest, whatever you said you wanted to get when the Lord is going to bless you. Get it. Amen. 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 But now, see, when we go get ours, we don't never let uh, nobody forget. Sometimes we'll put on the front of it in case you forgot. In case you forgot. <laughs> in case you forgot. <laughs> this ain't me. <laughs> Amen. We, we let folk up. But then there are other folk. They get beside themselves and they want to measure folk based on their ability to get something they think they got that God gave them. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I don't care how much I bless you to get. Life ain't measured like that. Because mm -hmm. in the case of this man right here with all this I, 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 and all these big old bars, tonight, man had to give an account of himself that very night. Jesus goes on to tell the parable. We expect to hear a story about somebody who's very greedy. But Jesus talks about a man who's not even bad. It's mm -hmm. not a bad man. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the story do we see where this man got property uh, that didn't belong to him. Nowhere in the story do we see where he mistreated people. It said that he had land and that the land did what? Abundantly, it produced. That's all these straightforward. Now, in Deut and like I said in the old time, you'll find it in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse number 8 through 9, where the description of devout men, their families grew, their property grew, their uh, land produced, all that. You could tell by looking at how well they were doing that this man was somebody following God, right? Mm -hmm. You would think that in this, what this man was talking about. Well, what was wrong with this man if, if we could look at him and see that everything about him seemed to be devout? What was wrong with him? Why did Jesus even bring him up? Because the man prayed to one person mm -hmm. himself. What I'm going to do. What I got. Amen. He did not have a prayer life to God. But Stan, how is that so important? Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got to ask me that? Mm. How are we going to ever in our life trust God? First of all, I just told you better give away stuff to be serving people, right? Mm -hmm. How in the world are we going to trust God if it's always about what we can do? All right. If it's always about what I can do? How in the world are we going to be able to trust God? I can't. <coughs> if I can do for me everything I want to do for me, I wouldn't have nobody to talk to but me. Amen. Me, get up. Let's go do this if it was in my power. Right? But you know and I know that it's not been in my power. So I have faith in the being that get me up every morning. And I pray to that being every day and night. Mm -hmm. The only word that sounded like prayer in this man's life was talking to himself. Mm -hmm. And he said to my, I said to my soul, soul, you have ample good laid up for many years. Relax. Eat. Drink. Be merry. Be merry. Mm -hmm. He ain't serving nobody. But his soul. Amen. You kind of kind of picture him as a, a, a real rounded, jolly rich man too, can't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, he, he, he ate like he wanted to eat. He indulged where he wanted to indulge. Mm -hmm. He did what he wanted to do. Nobody don't tell him what he wanted to do. So he had everything he wanted. The Lord visited him and said, okay, you got all this stuff, but you can't keep it. Mm -hmm. Now who's it going to be? Mm -hmm. Now think about this. Lesson almost yours. We got a lot of stuff in our life, right? Mm -hmm. And we say when we leave this earth, our children are going to be all right because we do what we think is necessary to make sure our children are all right. Right? Mm -hmm. Do we ever do what's necessary to make sure the church is all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You preaching that, brother. Uh-oh, uh -oh, there you come. I thought that. he had already metal. I thought he had already metal. You preaching that. We take our insurance on everybody, our cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dogs. Dogs. Take it a lot. The neighbor <laughs> being killed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey man, neighbor don't even know he insured. Mm. Don't you worry about it. I saw you fall on that ladder. You insured. Amen. I got you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But there's no insurance that we can even think about when it comes to helping the Lord's house Amen. in the event of emergency. Amen. 
What are you talking about, preacher? We're going to leave here. Amen. You know, us as colored people, hmm. we don't believe in wheels. Amen. Mm -hmm. sure. I ain't really nobody nothing. Mm. <laughs> Everything I got, I'm taking with me. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the hearse. <laughs> I ain't got to worry about it when I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I ain't really nobody nothing. Mm -hmm. But we love our church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We love the sisters and brothers of our church that we know be struggling from time to time. Mm -hmm. you preach There's an opportunity for us to do something for our church. When we leave this world, we don't do none of that. Mm -hmm. You teach it. We don't do none of that. Mm -hmm. We could care less about church. Need to be worried about what they're going to do for me. Mm -hmm. Now let the church not do something for you and your family. Your folks find out. Mm -hmm. You've been out there all that time. Mm. And they don't even buy you a spread. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I know I'm meddling, but you're going to get the story just a minute. It's going to you 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 hear me in a minute. God didn't call a man, a fool, this man a fool because he was productive. We sometimes are productive in things that we do, and we feel like we've done enough on how to do certain things. When we do what we do feel like we need to do for the church, we feel like we can be reserved. Now, somebody has time to step up. I've done a lot. Somebody else needs to do something. That man was productive. The Lord called him a fool because he lost the definition of what serving God meant. He didn't understand that he needed to pray to God to keep on being productive. Mm -hmm. He didn't understand that he needed to pray to God to keep on living so that he can keep on eating, drinking, and being married. And ain't nothing wrong with them. Tell you something else too, Christian. Mm -hmm. Public service announcement. Mm -hmm. Y'all better stop hiding the fact that y'all like to go out and eat, mm -hmm. and like to go out and have a good time, mm -hmm. and like to go out to places that, 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 that place something on the thing that we, we call music. <laughs> We're afraid to go to restaurants. Mm -hmm. We're afraid to go anywhere but McDonald's and no, okay. <laughs> churches and the, oh, okay. <laughs> Kentucky. Okay, okay. Popeye. Okay, okay. We're afraid to go anywhere where the ambiance is lights dim. Music playing in the background. Food costs more than thirty five dollars. Mm -hmm. We're afraid of ambiance of caring for each other and spending time with each other because we're afraid of what people are going to say no about sense. why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. Let the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Be happy about your blessing. Yes, Amen. Sir. And don't worry about what folks saying about you because of your blessing. Amen. 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 Raise your hand if you're ashamed of God blessing. I'm going to tell you straight right now you need to see me out of church. No, sir. <laughs> and I'm going to need more than 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Talking to yourself, he, he, the man talking to himself, I, I, I. Talking to yourself is all right now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I talk to myself sometimes. But it ain't nev never nearly enough. Because if I talk to myself, guess who going to do something? I'm talking to me, right? You. So who going to have to do it? Me. Mm -hmm. So if I don't feel like doing it, guess what? Self just be talking to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't feel like doing it. I ain't going to get up and do it, right? right. Mm -hmm. Talking to yourself is good. Jesus told him, you need to go beyond yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to look to God and not yourself. Amen. Old section in Luke is about the economy of God. I told you in the beginning. It's just a strange economy for God to say to us that we need to give everything we got away. For us to bless, for him to bless us with everything he, we ever asked him for. Ain't that so? Mm -hmm. I know what I want in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I ain't stop asking him for it either. You Amen. think we didn't buy one of them tickets, you're wrong. Amen. 1.2 something billion. Amen. I'm just looking for the payoff. They can have all the rest of it. Give me the 620 something million. Amen. Yes, Amen. I bought a ticket. Yes. Gonna buy another one. Yes. Amen. You got a problem with me buying a ticket, don't you be nowhere around when I buy it. Amen. <laughs> Show gonna buy it. People, so we talk, people, people get all so kinds of crazy right. with you when you say you're out there gambling. <laughs> buying them old tickets. <laughs> gambling. 
Somebody can walk up to him in the grocery store and say, oh, my baby bought these, baked these cookies, and I want you, she's trying to go to the Alabama, and I want you to buy them. And you buy them cookies. Uh -huh. You taking a gamble. Uh -huh. Did they do it? <laughs> you are taking a gamble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You take your gamble. <laughs> and I'll take what you call mine. Amen. 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 Now, I want I want I want to say something. One of my favorite texts in the Bible, and we get ready to end this thing, but I gotta say this because election is coming around. There's certain things I need to say as it relates to thinking beyond our say. One of my favorite texts in the Bible is 2 Thessalonians 3.10. It said, But you also know when we were with you, we gave you this rule. If a man will not work, Mm -hmm. He shall not eat. Mm -hmm. I think it's reasonable for you to think that if a man don't work, he should eat. I think that's reasonable. Amen. Mm -hmm. But consider this. Almost 45% of those who receive food stamps are children. Mm -hmm. Children shouldn't be working. Mm -hmm. That's right. Another 30% of those who receive are elderly mm -hmm. or people with disabilities. People with disabilities shouldn't be working. You know that. You've seen mm -hmm. some of them try to work. Up in uh, Walmart. <laughs> Amen. 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 We there trying to make end meet. They have a certain disability. Huh? <laughs> huh? That, that ain't mine right there. Huh? <laughs> I'm putting it with it, baby. You said that's yours? No, it's not mine. Amen. <laughs> y'all laughing at me like y'all hearing ain't going to fail. That's Amen. a disability. Amen. <laughs> Mind failing right now. You're going to hear your preacher say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What about the rest of them? The rest Men are working, but they don't make enough to feed themselves or their family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people get to eat food, Sam, they want to talk about food. They do. Yeah, yeah, if he don't work, so he should eat. eat. And you can man working two jobs and can't eat. Amen. Mm -hmm. I wonder why people crazy. like that verse so much. But they, 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 they neglect the rest of the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know about helping people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see him working two jobs and he can't make end meet, you're going to come talk about it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Child, I saw him. Mm. You know, I got a friend. I, had, I got a friend who really, really been close to me. But he works hard. And every Friday, he cashes his check at a liquor store. Mm. He always go in there and get his little old liquor. It's like back then, I think it was, he said, $2.10. Mm. He drank his little old bottle, right? And I hear people was talk. Look at him. He already can't, they already can't make it. Mm. And he over there drinking that old liquor. <laughs> they don't even know that this man, the rest of this man check went home trying to make the NB. Mm. $2.10 out of a week. Now look, don't get me wrong, I ain't consoling no drinking. But I ain't consoling you beating up on nobody who spend his money the way he want to to not try to get through life while you sit there and place judgment on him. What he do? I ain't with you amen, on that. Amen, amen. You helping me, you might not have to buy the little. <laughs> Maybe Amen. the stress medicine that he on will be enough. Amen. 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 You don't know what that man going through. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't. Demons they might even tell him, because I've seen this. They'll, they'll come tell me, sir. Ms. Lane, they won't let me. You told me to go there. Look, I thought they cash checks for folks who ain't got no account. But I was working with those people. I, I had a certain liquor store that would help me. They said, well, no, nah, he told me. I, 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 couldn't, uh, I couldn't cash my check unless I bought some. I said, don't he know you're alcoholic? <laughs> He said, yeah, but yeah. he told me he wasn't gonna, I wasn't going to get it cash, so I just bought that little old bitty thing. He just like to him. I just bought that little bitty thing. Baby. It don't take but a little bit to get your drunk, John, and stop it. Amen. 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 But people with stipulation on people that we don't even know, but we want to judge them. Yeah. They ain't got no being to being on food stamps because they can't make end meat. Mm -hmm. hmm. Our legislation, whoever they are out the tube. <laughs> They shouldn't be allowed to continue making decisions in a vacuum. Amen. Amen. They isolated from the very people who live the torn will. Amen. Our legislative Congress need to stop talking to themselves. Yes. Say that again. And start talking to folk with the problem. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if they don't have an answer with the, for the problem, <laughs> they need to listen to us tell them how we feel like they can fix the problem. Amen. Come from behind them gates. I ain't going to tell me what I need to do to make my end meet. 
when you ain't never had to do nothing to make ends meet. Ain't never mm -hmm. been to my yeah, You ain't never been hungry. Yeah, it is right there. You ain't never been to hungry to the point where you look up in the cabinet and you ain't got nothing but one can of beans and you ain't got enough cornbread to make cornbread, but enough cornmeal to make cornbread because you need eggs. You gotta wanna make hot water cornbread and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and some bean juice. Mm. But then you wanna sit up there and tell me what I ought to be doing. Amen. What I don't deserve. What we getting too much of. Mm -hmm. What we taking advantage of. Mm -hmm. But you wanna take my tax dollar and, go put it no more. and put them where you wanna put them. Mm -hmm. You know, in your neighborhoods. The where your fans at. Where you well, if I walk down them, the you stop me. Hey. Because I ain't got no being the being over, it's too fancy. Amen. Want to keep it fancy. Amen. So we keep money going to the fanciness. Don't make me get started. I supposed to be preaching. Amen. Oh, no, speak, you brother. Tell speak. Tell you need to look you beyond me. yourself. We want fancy walks and sidewalks too. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. You yes, want to drive down the street yes, where we go, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> Right. Scared to look back. Did you run on somebody dog? Did you run on somebody cat? Did there's a pothole? We don't know. Get out of the neighborhood. My front end go. <laughs> look beyond yourself. Stop trying to make the city for folk. Amen. Stop trying to tell folk what they ought to be doing. You've never been in the position. Come talk to us. You Amen. can't catch coordinates. Amen. Amen. You can do something about it. Amen. I'm sure of this, according to Philippians 1.6. That who had begun a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Jesus wasn't trying to scare folks when he talked about the rich man. He wasn't trying to, he was trying to give them a vision of what abundant life looked like. We all want abundant life. I know I do. Amen. What by what 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 do you mean by abundant? Same thing you mean mean by abundant. A lot of it. Yes, sir. You know the commercial on the TV the lady said, Miss Moore. Mm -hmm. More on everything. Mm -hmm. More, 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 more. Yeah. So she went to this certain lawyer, and this lawyer gave her more. Amen. Now Miss Moore is happy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I want. Amen. Mr. Abundant. Mr. Abundant want more. Mm -hmm. I want it to be abundantly. Yes, I do. Yes, you don't? Mm -hmm. There are some people that pray we stay rich. I mean, they stay rich and we stay poor. They show greatness. Mm -hmm. Amen, Pastor. You don't they show Yes. Them. Yes, they do. They even go further than that. They go and enact laws to make sure That's right. they stay rich and you stay poor. That's right. And when you come up, they speak nice. And you start talking about it, you will mess around and get in trouble mm -hmm. talking about how poor you are and how you want things to change mm -hmm. because you ain't doing things they want you to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. You got to learn to look beyond. Just because most of us as Christians today, God bless America, mm -hmm. we live above what the folks call Poverty line. Poverty yes, line. we do. We live, we live above it. We way above. And it. it's a blessing that we live above it. What's, what's the poverty line? Last time I checked, it was around twenty-two thousand dollars a year. I know we all make more than twenty-two. Fix for yourself, Pastor. Okay. If you don't, Lord knows I'm talking about you, and how you need some help, and they need to stop talking about it and give you the help. Amen. 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 The Lord bless us to live above the poverty line. Sometimes we need to learn how to help folks. Who are living below the poverty line. Amen. Help people. If you're not giving till it hurt, you ain't serving. Amen. Amen. All these people out here that need service, we don't need to be dependent on. And that's another thing, you know, the lesson gonna be yours because I don't want to talk about this. Why are we depending on the government anyway? Say government. It Say it again, brother. Why are we depending on the government to do the thing that we need to be doing for our citizens anyway? You hear me Amen. say all the time. If you don't have a church family, you need to get one. Amen. That's right. So that church family can do what it's supposed to do for family members who fall on bad time, government help or not. Amen. Amen. Stop Amen. trying to pass off what we ought to be doing as a church. We got some churches around here that have had their building paid off since pump water was invented. Ooh. And they still got their bank account larger than large. Still money for the building. You can ask them who poor and needed in their church and they ain't got a record of it. Mm. Some church got building chunk, like the man said, building chunk, farm, building farm. Mm -hmm. Ain't built on the church in 50 years. since the farm started. <laughs> <laughs> serve the people in your congregation if you ain't gonna serve nobody else. Amen. If you're a vibrant congregation, nobody got no business trying to 
figure out how to help your member of your congregation and you are aware of it? Mm. We got to look beyond ourselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to do better than that. We can be become selfish. It become all about us. And when it becomes all about us, you stop serving the Lord. So what heaven are you trying to get into? Mm. Amen. See, this ain't no game. This is not a game. This is life. We're spending it. We only have one. Mm -hmm. When it's over, it's over. Amen. I see pictures all the time about folk coming back. Marvel Studio got me messed up. Hmm. They got Ant-Man coming back. I think Iron Man coming back. He's been oh, dead. Really? Superman dying. Yeah, I've been reading about it. They bring him back. Folks that die off. Gamora, I like Gamora. Dead. Come back. This is real. When you gone, you gone. You are not marble. What will people say about your life when it's gone? Will your dad say you look beyond yourself and help other folk when they need it? You know what make you do that? Hearing the Lord. Amen. Amen. Coming to the Lord. Being a part of the Lord. Being in the Lord. See, something bigger than us now. Because see, just me, I ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing nothing nobody. If it's just me, I tell folks, I think you need to go get you a job if you're hungry. If it's just me. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Can it work like me? If it's just me, I'll create a job for them. Look, come over here and mow my yard or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't giving you nothing. Amen. Amen. If it's just me. Amen. Okay? But I got to hear. I got to hear what the Lord say about that. Believe what the Lord say about that. Repent of what I think I ought to do about that. Confess that I was wrong. And if I ain't been baptized, I need to be baptized into the Lord so he can continue to direct me on how to handle stuff like that. Amen. Amen. Because in and of ourselves, we're going to go left every time. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, we ain't doing nothing for nobody. Amen. Amen. I, you can be the goodest person in the world. I said good is only with Sierra looking at me like this. <laughs> Pastor, don't you be best? Okay. But ever since I said goodest, <laughs> you can be the best person in the world and don't serve nobody. Mm -hmm. When you die, mm. you're going to wake up nowhere near the gates. Amen. Nowhere near the gate. What do you mean? I was good all my life. Did you hear what your preacher said? Mm, you're going to have to be in the Lord. So he can be directing your step so that you can do those things that other folk talk about saying if it wasn't me, if it was me, I wouldn't do that. Mm. And if it was you, you wouldn't do it either. But it's now you and the Lord because now you're in him. Amen. Mm -hmm. and he can direct you on what you need to be doing, how you need to be doing, what you need to be saying, even to your enemy. Amen. I trust the Lord when it comes to my enemy. Sometimes I say stuff to my enemy, I don't even know I say I had to run it back in my mind. You know how sometimes you record yourself when you're talking? I ain't the only one that record themselves when they talk to me. You gotta learn how to record yourself when you're talking. In other words, remember what you say to folks. Because folks are lying. They're, they're lying. Yeah, we call it twisting. I call it lying. <laughs> folks are lying. You better record what you say to people in your mind. But, 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 Pastor, I can't record all that stuff. I said, you talking too much. <laughs> Amen. 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 You better learn. When you talking to your Indian men, record what you say. It has a whole lot to do with going beyond yourself. Because Satan will try to keep you from doing what you can do by what we said this morning, slandering you. Amen. You can't go beyond yourself every step you get. He's slandering you. You can't, but the Lord can take you. That's why it's important that you be in the Lord. I hope you pray that I've said something this morning to, to help you this week as you go through your everyday life and everyday living. And I hope and pray that you come back next Sunday and listen to us. All those in the community who have, have, have been visited by the deaf angel of late, I want you to know this community church pray for you all the time. Amen. We're looking you up in our praying and we pray to God visit you and comfort you during times such as these. And as always, before we leave, I say, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Amen. Thank you.